Hey everyone, welcome back and come on in, make yourself comfortable. As always, appreciate you joining me here. I have something I don't normally film. I have a lot of custom 3D printed Brian Hayes, the creator of the extraordinary website Alpha Drum, where all the cool collectors hang out, especially if you're into robots and space toys. So the main reason I don't normally video his robots are because sometimes I have to put them together and they come from the UK. They're very well packed. It's easier for me to just keep them packed, put them away until it's time to display them. But in this case, I got seven of them, some color variations. So I said, you know, what? let me try to film at least three, maybe more, but three of these are, like I said, color variations. And uh, before we get rolling, as always, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and please subscribe. You will be among the elite high IQ collectors if you do. You're, I, I believe your collecting IQ jumps up 20 points. And if you're a regular, thanks as always for once again joining me and get cozy, grab that nice steaming cup of coffee, chill out in your nice comfy chair, wherever you're at, work, home, cafe, or if it's the evening and you're having your cocktail and a little warmed up burrito because it's uh, late at night and you shouldn't be snacking, but you are anyway. Um, and now let's look at the first one I am going to pick is the Select Robot right there. So once I bring him in frame, I will try to get him a little closer. So this robot was from the Dan Dare comic strip. Dare I say Dan Dare. And he is a very cool looking robot. Now, if you know Brian, he does a lot of really interesting designs. Like he does a lot of the early mechanical man, just stuff that nobody does, like the Houdini robot, uh, a lot of the box, yeah, the models, like the MI models. But he didn't do my, ooh, the, this is a preview, you know, the secret Tetsujin models. I don't know, Brian, if you ever decide to do those, maybe I'll let you have some of that artwork. Those are a little complex though, you know, but so anyway, and rather than open it up because I said, you know what, I know the other part of <laughs> the reason I tend to put his stuff away is because then there's always screws you got to undo and it takes a while. So in this case, I already took it out of the box, removed it nicey nice and put the AAA batteries in there so that we can see this guy roll. So here is the design. You know what, let me, let me go to the box first. Let's see if I can get this without tumbling everything else over. So he usually does a nice label box, like so. You'd have to look up the year that Dan Dare was around. I would guess like late 40s, 50s. So my guess is this came out of one of those comic strips. Very cool. And he uses, uses a label and then a plain white box. And you can see he signed it there. The ever important autograph, you know. And uh, as for the robot, very faithful to the comic strip. You know, kind of the I, I, I'm getting a like a Tetsujin vibe from this, believe it or not. That bulbous body, um, even the feet, kind of has some ratchets on the top. This is very cool. You know, I, I I give Brian and John a lot of credit in their 3D work. It's really outstanding. So you can see the back here has the pop-up door. I like that door just snaps in place. And the 3D printing is getting so nice. I'm, I'm assuming this is is uh, not resin because I could see the lines, but it's very smooth. You know, 3D printing is getting a lot better. Now, the resin printer that John uses, I mean, the results on those small parts are really good. And I actually have one of those myself. I haven't even opened it up, but I could tell you that as of right now, I have no desire to mess with it. Too many... Uh, stages in the curing process. Anyway, let's turn it on and see Select Robot in action. Wow, what a cool sound.
right. Wow. That is really cool. Kind of cooler than I expected in the sense he has that really cool sound. You know, the simplistic geometric shape of this is something that, you know where else you see in the uh, Super Mario characters, the villains especially. So you never know if the Japanese were inspired by these early cool, simple designs. But anyway, that's a look at your Select Robot 3D printed in 2022 by a robot creator extraordinaire, Brian Hayes, the founder of the Alphadrome website. I will link his website also on the description. So if you like this, please thumb up the video and don't forget to subscribe, leave a remark. And with that, appreciate your time and I will talk to you later.